Hello. Hi. Good morning again. Good afternoon. Good evening to all my subscribers, OFW, all over the world, and sa mga subscriber ko sa Pilipinas. Uh, ngayon, ang vlog ko is uh, kung ano mga supplement na, ba, uh, na dapat inumin pag uh, medyo umiidad na. O kaya ang ginawa kong example is uh, yung mga supplement na iniinom ko. Okay. Ang una kong iniinom ay vitamin B12. Okay, ito... Ang benefits niya is it helps prevent depression kasi may kinalaman to sa ating serotonin sa brain cells. Tapos it also prevents early memory decline kagaya ng early dementia kasi ang vitamin B12 din is uh, promotes sa uh, healthy brain cells and number three helps with uh, tinatawag na neuropathy sa may nagkaroon ng herpes or yung mga alcoholic diabetic at yung may mga chronic low back pain na tinatawag na impingement syndrome uh, ito kaya ako iniinom dahil meron akong <laughs> chronic low back pain at nagkaroon ako ng neuropathy, nagkaroon ako ng tingling, numbness on both legs. So, I start drinking vitamin B12, you know, a thousand microgram yeah, daily. Iniinom ko na to for the last two, almost two years and so far nakakatulong nawawala yung aking numbness, tingling in both legs. And then, yung number four na benefits niya is it reduces the risk of macular degeneration. Ito is common sa mga tumatanda. Uh, prevents na uh, uh, hindi kayo mabulag. Alright. Next. Ang pangalawang iniinom ko is krill oil. Ang benefit niya, it improves your lipids. Uh, Ini-increase niya yung good cholesterol, which is the HDL. Binababa niya yung bad cholesterol, which is the LDL. At dinidecrease niya niya yung triglycerides. Uh, sa aking <coughs> blood test uh, this year, yung my total cholesterol was decreased from 250 last year now it came down to 158 yung aking good cholesterol was only 40 last year now we went up to 54 and my LDL my bad cholesterol <coughs> that <day> was <coughs> greater than 130 now it's down to 86 tsaka yung triglycerides ko last year was greater than 200 now it's only 98 but uh, itong krill oil kasi iniinom ko together with extra virgin olive oil. And both has the same effect sa cholesterol. <coughs> At ang pangalawang benefit from krill oil is uh, anti-inflammatory. It contains astaxanthin which is uh, an anti-inflammatory. Krill oil, pwede rin kayo mag actually mag fish oil pero ang krill oil has more benefits than the fish oil. Especially sa cholesterol. Alright. Ang pangatlong ininom ko ay vitamin D3 kasi <coughs> nalaman ko na mababa pala yung level ko. So, itong vitamin D3, inumin nyo lang kung talagang yung blood level nyo ay mababa. Kung hindi naman, hindi nyo kailang inumin to. Pero ang benefits ng vitamin D3, it helps with uh, osteoporosis. And may study na long-term use daw nito, decreases the risk of multiple sclerosis. 
and also prevents a cognitive decline meaning yung makakalimutin and yung pangapat na iniinom ko is olive oil ang recommended na rin nila talaga is extra virgin olive oil uh, pero ito kasi mayroong medyo mapait na lasa yung, yung extra virgin oil olive oil kung di nyo kaya pwede kayong <coughs> bumili ng yung capsule na gel capsule yan nasa taas Seagate <coughs> olive oil capsule yan once a day ang benefits ng olive oil ganun din it improves yung lipids cholesterol natin pinapataas yung good cholesterol pinabababa yung bad cholesterol at dinidecrease din niya yung triglycerides So, meron din tong anti-inflammatory effect kasi meron tong substance na tinatawag na oleocantal which is similarly to ibuprofen. So, kaya siya may anti-inflammatory quality. So, mahusay ito sa <laughs> may mga arthritis. Katulad ko, may arthritis ako sa kamay, tsaka sa knee, tsaka of course yung arthritis ko sa spine. Pero ininom ko na itong olive oil for more than 2 years. So, you know, nakikita ko yung benefits nito sa usually yung pain ko ano, sa kamay at sa knee or ano, nababawasan. Even na uh, yung ano, back pain ko nababawasan. Pero delayed effect nito from anywhere from 3 to 6 months. Kaya pag ininom kayo nito, you have to wait up to 6 months to get the benefits ng olive oil and that's from my experience uh, number 3 also helps prevent cognitive decline helps prevent cancer <laughs> meron din siyang antibacterial properties okay next Ang last na ininom ko ay probiotics. Ang paborito ko yung Align Probiotic. Pero any probiotic uh, makakatulong. It doesn't have to be Align. Ang probiotic uh, benefits niya promotes balance between good and bad bacteria. Tapos uh, also helps prevent and helps with diarrhea. And yung last niya is uh, reduce symptom of yung IBS na tinatawag na irritable bowel syndrome. Usually yung irritable bowel syndrome is nag alternate <coughs> between uh, either diarrhea, constipation, na may abdominal pain. Alright, so that's it. Maikli lang yung aking topic ngayon because ito lang yung supplement na iniinom ko at uh, may nagtatanong kung ano mga supplement pagka medyo tumatanda. <laughs> so thank you once again for listening to my vlog. Again, Dr. Latuno. Uh, subscribe and like and thank you for following me and again, God bless.